Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire. If you did not see the first episode, I highly encourage you to go watch that first. Otherwise, you're probably going to be completely lost as to where we are right now because we are partway through a run. We're on the second floor. We just defeated the first floor boss. The run is going really well, and I'm um, having a good time. I think we will start right here. Let's start off with some combat, try and get some uh, more cards and stuff in our deck, some good stuff. Uh, you might as well use Berserk, why not? He's not going to attack this turn, so we might as well go Bash, get him vulnerable, and then attack here, and then we'll end the turn. All right, he buffed himself. We will use Flex. It looks like we have no choice but to attack a lot this turn, so we will attack twice. We will attack for eight, and then we will attack for seven, and then we will end the turn. Flex turned that into a turn that actually was, you know, pretty good damage-wise. And we still get a little bit of a block, which is nice. Put a hex on us. We are weakened, so we're going to do less damage. Uh, we want to use Apotheosis for sure, because it's amazing. That'll buff all of our cards. Uh, he's going to attack for 13... I think this turn, your next two attacks are played twice. I mean, I only have one attack card. And we definitely want to block some of this damage. So I think you go in flame, strike, defend. And then we end the turn. He's going to attack us. We'll get hit for five. Okay, that's all good. He dazed us. That's not good. 21 damage. He's got 26 health left. We should be able to finish him off this turn, I think. So we'll hit him there for 21, and then we'll hit him here with the strike and finish him. There we go. And we heal back to full HP. We get a block potion. Uh, let's get rid of that. Give me the block potion. And we get to add a new card. Pommel Strike lets us draw cards. Seven damage to all enemies. Gains. Actually, we start with Inflame Plus, which is pretty good. I think we'll go for that. Powers, I believe, do stack. So if you use them uh, and you have multiples of them in your deck, like you can. I think that effect stacks up. Also, starting with Apotheosis is amazing. Uh, we'll go Berserk, because why not? And we really only have one option the way we can play this. So we'll go block, strike, twin strike. This guy is a pain. Uh, he gains armor, <laughs> uh, and his armor actually carries over. This uh, barricade means that his block is not removed at the end of the turn. So it gets uh, a little tedious to bring him down. And he hits fairly hard as well, I think. I ran into this guy on my my test run when I was kind of practicing when I was kind of trying the game out and it was pretty bad. Uh, okay, let's see here. So we could go. I think you want to go. I mean, we can only attack. So we're, and thankfully we're gonna have uh, six uh, block coming to us. So we'll block four, uh, all but four of this. So I think you go double tap. And then you go cleave, which is going to attack twice, and then strike, which is going to attack twice thanks to double tap. So that gets rid of almost all of his block. He's not quite to the point yet where we can finish him, but maybe we can get him next turn. The odds are fairly good, especially with this flex card right here. That'll help tremendously. So let's see. Yeah, we should be able to finish him. We'll go in flame. That'll give us more strength, so we'll hit harder. We'll strike. We'll pommel strike. And that's the end of the Sphere Guardian guy. All right, here we go. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Deal damage equal to your current block. Gain one vulnerable, but deal nine damage. And that's a zero... No, that's a, uh, a, a, a card that doesn't actually use any whatever. Or Cleave Plus, which deals 10 damage to all enemies. Hmm. I think we'll 
go cleave. No, I think we'll go reckless charge. We need more cards in our deck that uh, that deal damage. And this, this is an interesting conundrum as well. I think maybe we shoot. We want to hit the campfires, I think, because the campfires uh, will either he allow us to heal or upgrade cards in our deck. So I think we'll go this way, kind of up here. That'll still give us a chance to hit a shop. Okay. He's going to attack for 21. Wow. Okay. So I think you go in flame. And then you go defend, defend. Since he's going to attack for 21 right off the bat. That's a lot of damage. There we go. That worked. Now we're talking. So we go here. He's going to attack for 21 again. Are you ever not going to attack for 21? Uh, let's go armaments. What happens if we upgrade this? Gain one vulnerable deal 15. That doesn't seem very good. In flame would gain three strength. Yeah, let's upgrade that. So we'll play it. And then... We're going to take more damage this way, but we'll do that. Now, we, uh, we went from taking 21 damage to taking 30, but we'll block. Probably not the best call. Probably should have done that when he was attacking for such a large damage amount, but too late now. Probably could have used a block potion, actually, to prevent a lot of that, but... Too late. Let's see. Okay, he's finally not attacking. So I think you go double tap. And then do you want to go... I think you go pommel strike, which is basically going to use it twice. There's apotheosis. And then you go... Regular strike. And that brings him down fairly far. And used a debuff on us. That's fine. We'll go flex. We can do 16 damage there. Yeah, we can finish him off this turn. So let's hit him with heavy blade. That'll take him out. We're back up to 65. Uh, fire potion would deal 20 damage. We'll take that. Anger is really good, I think. In fact, I think I'm going to go Anger. That's a very cool card. Uh, let's check the shop. See what we got here. Reduce the cost of cards in your hand to one this turn. So that's actually pretty good as well. That's actually amazing. That's insanely good. Is there anything else I'd rather have? I should probably look at the relics. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain energy. Yeah, I think you go Enlightenment for sure. That seems amazingly good. Because you can reuse it. So it just basically, like, greatly reduced the cost of those cards. And there's some, some, you know, fairly expensive cards in there. So we'll try that out. And it'll get upgraded, presumably with Apotheosis, I think. But some cards can't be upgraded. I don't know. We'll find out. So we want to go Berserk. Uh, the, we got a Mystic and a Centurion. Neither one of these are particularly uh, fun. Let's go Inflame. We'll go Inflame again. So that gets us up to 15 strength. And then I think... I mean, we could attack for 20. They're going to They're going to attack for 20. I think we should just block. Yeah. Let's do that. Save our potions for the boss. Or for tougher enemies than these guys. There we go. Now, yeah, here we go. Now we're starting to get some good cards. So, Apotheosis, you play first. 
followed by Enlightenment, right? Because that'll make Heavy Blade cost one. Then you play Flex. Then you... I mean, we could one-shot the Mystic here. You go Pommel Strike. We could also one-shot the Centurion. So... Kill the Centurion. And then... Do you go for the six... You go the block? I think you go for the block here. And end the turn. Yeah, that's a, a potent combo, though. One-shotting a Centurion like that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so here... Uh, you go double tap. You go cleave. That'll hit him twice. And then you go strike. And finish him off. Double tap, doing good work. Basically allowing us to attack four times. Okay. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal 20 damage. That doesn't seem very good. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times. Deal damage equal to your current block. I don't really like any of these. Um, I guess we'll go... Sword Boomerang? Maybe it will be better if it gets upgraded. Uh, let's go to the campfire. Smith. What do we want to upgrade here? So we can upgrade this. Then it would deal 12 damage total. Anger is really good. I think you want to upgrade Anger first. Because Anger, you use it to apotheosis. It's so good. Uh, I mean, th there's no point in using Enlightenment here. We don't have... Yeah, there's not much we can do. S gonna do a negative effect. I mean, you might as well... There's, there's no point in doing that, but whatever. Might as well use it, right? So then we'll Reckless Attack twice, which I may regret. But then we'll block. And then end the turn. There's not much else we can do there. I mean, it's a good problem to have that you can play all the cards and you just don't have enough money to play any more than that, so... Armaments... Why is Armaments costing three? Oh, because that's the debuff. Confusion. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Okay. Well, that's... He's gonna attack for 22... That is a lot of damage. Um, man, I guess you cleave and defend. I mean, we've got randomized costs here and there's, uh, yeah, pretty terrible. All right. Now we got some options. So uh, inflame for zero, absolutely. Can we finish him here? If we pop this in flame as well? Let's see. Six damage to a random enemy. Heavy blade we can attack. We can use for free. He's going to attack for 15. He's got 81 health. Like, that's a lot of health to deal with. Um... So let's go Pommel Strike, draw two cards. Okay, that gives us a free defend. Then we can strike, we can anger, and we can heavy blade, which doesn't quite kill him, but this fire potion will, and then we don't get hit at all. Nice. Good use of Fire Potion. All right, let's see here. So, seven damage twice. Exhaust a card and draw three cards. Draw three cards, but you can't draw any additional cards. That's actually pretty good. 
Let's do that one. For zero cost? Absolutely. And we get to go to the campfire. Um... Do we want to rest up? I don't think so. We'll be able to rest up right before the boss. This will allow us to draw four cards. I think that's the one you go with. Upgrade Battle Trance. Because card draw is amazing. And then let's go this way so we can hit up another campfire. Bag of Marbles. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage... Oh, at the start of combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Okay, that's a, a free relic. Not bad. Another campfire. Upgrade again. I think we will upgrade... Maybe Pommel Strike. Let's upgrade that. Deal 10 damage, draw two cards. I think we have an okay deck here. I don't know if it's perfect. Okay. So you go Battle Trance. He's gonna attack one, uh, he's gonna attack five times for one damage. Okay, that's fine. So let's go. And then we got this chosen over here. I mean, I will block the damage, so I'm not really concerned about that. The pommel strike will not allow us to draw any more cards this turn. So let's go anger on the chosen. Start with that. Then I think you go... I mean, hmm. Let's go for the reckless charge in the chosen. It's gonna make it vulnerable for one turn, but that's fine. We'll still be able to block this. And then I think you go. Armaments? Upgrade Bash. And hit the Chosen with Bash to make him vulnerable for the next several turns. I think that's the way to play it. It's hard to say. But it's good to have options. And it's good to be able to kind of like implement and execute a strategy. That's what I really like about this game so far. Is there's a lot of synergies between the different cards and the ways you can play them and stuff. I like that. Alright, game four. Um, we're going to get hit quite a lot here. So, cleave. He can actually hit pretty hard. We should probably kill this bird. And then we'll gain some block. Actually, uh, I probably shouldn't have blocked. I would have had more block if I didn't, thanks to that relic. Oh, well. Maybe a block potion would have, was the right call, but a little late now. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, so I think you go Berserk. And then you go... Inflame. Double Tap. And Sword Boomerang. Just to kind of spread as much damage around as we can. And we get to use it a couple times. That did good work. And we're going to get 6 block here for ending the turn, thanks to this... Uh, this Orichalcum relic. So that's all good. And this bird is down. We knocked him out of the sky. This is good. Hey, Apotheosis, you finally showed up. I appreciate it. Uh, not really a whole lot of ways we can play this. So deal eight damage to the bird. Kill the bird. Attack twice here. End the turn. Nothing else we can do. The dazed cards are, are debuff cards that are basically being put in our deck by him. So we're fine. Might as well use Inflame first. This is going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt a lot, unless we could kill him here. And we can't. Those dazed cards got me. I think we go with the 
12 block? That's going to prevent a chunk of the damage. Not as much of it as I would like, but it's going to present prevent some of it. About half of it. Those days cards, man. They got me. All right, let's just finish him off. We got a regen potion. Actually really valuable. Okay, what do we got here? Deal three damage. Deal four damage to all enemies and heal for any damage dealt. That actually seems like the way to go. And we want to hit up the shop. Well, yeah, we probably want to hit the shop up before we make it to the boss, I think. Oh, yuck. Oh, this is terrible. In front of you sits an altar. Re requires a uh, gain five max HP, but lose 20 HP. Become cursed permanently. Yuck. This is terrible. I can't afford 20 HP. We have to go. We have to do this one because this one's locked and 20 HP will knock me down to seven HP. That's not enough. So we're going to have to go become cursed as much as I don't want to. We can remove that card from our deck. Oh, this might be where we die, actually. I'm not liking the looks of this. Uh, we're going to pop the regen potion right away. Uh, and we're going to pop the dexterity potion right away as well. Uh, then I think you go... Double tap. Play Pommel Strike and attack the weakest enemy. Now we got Flex. And we could finish this enemy off right here, or we could Inflame. I think you go and just finish him off. So now we're down to two enemies right off, right after the first turn. That's a lot more manageable than three. Still a little worried about our odds of overall survival. Starting a ritual, never a good thing, but what can you do? Uh, and DK. Okay, that's not what we need right now. Uh, all right, so... You need to block the damage. You can't play this. I guess you go with this one and just make him vulnerable. It's the best we can do. We could definitely die here. We're going to get Apotheosis, though, so that's good. That'll help tremendously. So Apotheosis, play Berserk. Play... Wait, do I have... No, I do not have anything that will allow me to draw cards. So we'll use Battle Trance, because we can use it right here. Uh, we'll go in Flame. Gives me three strength. Use Anger here to deal nine damage. They're going to attack for 18. That's a lot of damage. Deal eight damage to all enemies. I mean, that's about as good as our... I mean, that's going to... Let's see. That would heal us for 16. We could block all 20. We're going to get six block. I think you try and save Reaper. And I think you just go block, block and just block all the incoming damage. Try to save Reaper for when we can actually use it to heal us instead of healing and then immediately taking a ton of damage. Okay, we got Enlightenment, we got Flex. So use Flex. I mean, you might as well use Enlightenment because why not? 17 damage to all enemies. Finish off this cultist. Deal 16 here. We're going to take six. 
but we'll be okay. We're gonna win. Still, <laughs> we almost, we almost did not make it through that one. Uh, let's use Battle Trance, draw some cards, deal nine free damage. And then I think you want to use Reaper, which will give us some healing and then hit him twice. And that gives us a block potion, which is basically free damage reduction. Uh, let's see. Creating a... Mm, 10 damage to all enemies. I think we want to go anger again. Increase our odds of getting that. Go to the shop for sure. We only have 100 gold, but still. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. That actually could be decent. Card removal is also an option. We can get that cursed card out of our deck. Apply two weak. Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. We're gonna go blind. <laughs> Maybe a terrible plan, but we're gonna do it. All right, and we're gonna rest for sure. It's not gonna get us back to full HP before we fight the boss, but it's gonna get us a lot closer. And we'll see how this goes. This is gonna be an, an interesting fight. All right. Negates two debuffs. So we wanna take care of that as quickly as possible. So let's go Enlightenment. We wanna go in flame. Followed by In Flame, again, because that's permanent five strength, and then Heavy Blade. And then in the turn, yeah. Oh, he summons little minion guys. Lovely. Okay. So, uh, use Berserk. You use Anger on... The one that's gonna attack you? I really don't have anything here that can, like, prevent me from taking this damage. So we can deal 24 overall damage or 11. I think we go for the 24 overall, even if it's kind of spread out among different enemies. Oh, actually, we can, we can do all of it. Okay, fine. And then here, I think you use the block potion right here, because you know you're gonna take the damage. That'll help us prevent at least some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Oh, did... Oh, they stole my double tap card. Well, that's rude. Okay, so Apotheosis, for sure. Uh, use Flex. Use Pommel Strike on the Orb to finish that off. Then you use Battle Trance, gets us more cards. We use Anger here. 14 damage to all enemies, so that would be 28 total. Which would basically get us back to full HP. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't kill that enemy. Do I have another cleave? He's gonna attack for eight. I'd really like to kill this enemy this turn. So tell you what, let's go cleave. And then let's uh, just strike this orb to finish it off. We get our double tap back. And now we're gonna end the turn. We're still gonna take a little bit of damage, but our block from uh, Oracalcum will prevent it. So it's okay. So, so far so good. Uh, too weak, absolutely, use that. He's gonna attack for 20. So I think you just go strike, defend, defend, and I don't think you use reckless charge here because it would uh, make us vulnerable and we would take more damage from what he's throwing at us. Okay, um, so flex. Draw four cards. Now you use Enlightenment. Uh, then you go... 
mean, this is pretty good. Anger. Anger again. Double tap didn't get upgraded from Apotheosis? Huh? Oh, because it was in with the Automaton at the time. Oh, man. So do you go for Double Tap Heavy Blade, or do you go for Double Tap Reaper? I think you go Double Tap Heavy Blade. So basically you're hitting him twice in a row for 59 damage. And then you save Reaper and hope he summons more minions. And you can get more value out of Reaper. That's what I'm thinking. Because 14 there is, you know, that's only hitting one enemy. We might actually be able to finish him here pretty soon. Like, 40, he's going to hit me for 46 damage. That's absurd. Okay, anger, anger. Um, I mean, there's only one way to play this, so strike, defend, defend. This is going to hurt a lot, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yep, 33 damage. Ouch. That's okay. That's all right. We're going to be fine. So I think you go Pommel Strike. And you go Twin Strike and finish him off. And we'll recover to full HP now that we've beaten the boss. At 97 gold, we get a special card. Double your strength. Bludgeon deal 32 damage. That seems really good in combination with that card we have that uh, allows us to uh, use cards for cheaper. Although Barricade also seems to be in the same boat, I think. So let's go, let's go Barricade. Barricade will allow our block to carry over, which seems really, really good. And then we get another Relic. Heals 10 HP at the end of every combat. That seems really good. Instead, it basically replaces this. Max HP is lowered by 20%, but whenever you lose HP, you draw one card. Or, upon pickup, choose and transform three cards, then upgrade them. Transformed cards can become a random card of any rarity. Upgrading cards makes them more powerful. I think we just go uh, Black Blood. Go straight for the upgrade, because that's going to basically allow us to heal more after every battle. Which is, I think, very important. And we're on to level three. It's a, it's a very good first run so far. But guys, I am out of time for this episode, so we'll pick this up next time. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.